Hi guys, I'm Raval. Welcome back to this Codeception series. In the previous video, we finally required Codeception. We initiated it as well. So now that we have it downloaded, it's time to set it up or configure, should I say. Um, let's open up our Codeception at YAML. The first thing you want to change is the colors here and you want to set it to true because that will make sure that when you run your tests, you will have colored output to make it easier to read. Okay, we'll close that. Go back to our notepad here just to get the next steps. So we're going to set up a test DB. So um, a rule of thumb is that whenever you run any sort of tests, they need to be against a test database. You, they shouldn't be against your local one, and they definitely should not be against your production database. So let's set up a test DB. So we're going to go back here and um, let's create a new database so databases and we're going to do laravel codeception um, laravel codeception tutorials test db and we're just going to copy that click create good so our codeception tutorials test db is being set up that's done so let's go back here, bring that back up too, and uh, we're going to go here, and what we need to do is instead of using our normal environment file, we're going to copy that, and we're going to paste it back here, and we're going to call that env-testing. Okay, so env-testing, and we know it's the same thing, root and test db cool so um, now that will ensure that our tests are actually going to the test db we just have to set up codeception to make sure that it's looking at that testing env file go back to the notepad here so um, let's set up our unit suite yaml file so let's go to tests and let's go look at codeception here okay so you can see there's a functional a unit and an acceptance.suite.yaml file there is also down here a codeception.yaml file so you can apply configurations to any one of these files we have the codeception.yaml file being like the top layer and you can you know every test you run will listen to those but if you want to break it down per um, type of test you can add additional configurations here. Now, if you make a change into one of these acceptance functional unit suite YAML, they will take uh, priority over the global codeception.yaml file. So let's open up the unit suite YAML. And uh, I'm going to go back to my notepad here. And I already have a bunch of things that we can put in. And paste that. And hopefully, you can see this. I'm just going to make it larger. So um, we have class name of unit tester. And um, remember, if you think back to the previous videos, um, every actor has a bunch of methods. And what we're doing here is creating the, the actor's class. And um, in this case, it's called unit tester. And um, anything we declare in this file, so any modules, so um, they will be added to the unit tester class for us to use in our unit test. So um, you can see the modules here. We have asserts enabled, help a unit, and then we have Laravel 5 here. So um, that's an important one for us. And um, we're going to make sure we're going to use the ORM. So it's going to use Eloquent for any sort of database transactions. And environment file, we're going to make sure that's env dash testing because we made a dash testing there. Uh, cleanup is true, and that's just another um, setting for once the database transactions run make sure just to clean up uh, remove anything that's added to the database or any sort of changes just change it and keep it clean again and then run database migrations now that's very important as well we see um, codeception does let you have like a dump sql file and within that file you can have a bunch of sql that creates tables uh, insights data etc but since we have Laravel, since we have Eloquent, we should be using the power of Eloquent and Laravel migrations to run our tests. So 
when we run our tests, we can, for every single test that runs, it'll run the migrations, and um, within our test, we should insert data, and then um, also perform any sort of database transactions. So uh, that's how you'll set up your unit at suite at YAML file. And if we go back to the notepad, to see what's next. Well, all we have to do here is run code set build. And what this command does, it regenerates, uh, well, it re looks at all the suite.yaml files again, as well as the codeception.yaml, and regenerates all the actor classes. So codecept is not going to work because we have to go to the vendor file. So if we go to vendor, and it should be in the bin, codeception, and then we'll run build. Okay, cool. So now uh, that's uh, regenerated, and within our tester class, so our unit test class, we'll have access to our new Laravel modules. Okay, guys, so that's about it for this video. In the next video, we're going to finally start writing our test.